Welcome to this recap of the Daily News Nuggets live show. It's the show that brings you the latest headlines that impact the Kid Broker's current and potential future stocks. Each day we're live, 1.30 Eastern, 12.30 Central. Best way to interact with the show is to chat with us during that live broadcast. You can also shoot us an email. It's dnn at kidbrokers.com or send us a tweet at kidbrokers. Today we discussed the Legend of Zelda and the hype. I, I didn't think it could get bigger, but it certainly did. Here's the recap from that segment. Let's talk Zelda reviews. And they are coming in. And it is now beyond the point of hype for these. It is full-blown. This could be the best game of all time. Um, That would be saying something (laughs) very much. But uh, here we go. Let's start off with uh, Nintendo Insider. Nintendo Insider is giving it a 10. It's amazing. Um, They're one of many people that give it a perfect score. Uh, Not surprising. They've been big fans of of Zelda. And like I said, this is we're going to see a pattern here of people giving it a perfect score or near perfect score. Uh, summary from them, how appropriate it is Breath of the Wild be remember as a legend in its own right and perhaps the greatest game that Nintendo has ever created. Wow. Never has a world impressed me so much. That is a that is a strong review. Uh, whether you're a Nintendo fan or not, that is it's surprising to me uh, how strong some of these reviews actually are. Um, I was expecting it to be a typical, highly, highly rated Zelda. I figured a lot of good feedback, a lot of good reviews, but it is, these reviews are actually, um, they are really, really up there. Uh, I didn't, I did not expect these to be this high. Let's move on to trusted reviews. Um, five stars. Beautiful release in a huge uh, open world. Uh, cons are so-so voice acting, minor performance dips, satisfying gameplay, beautiful art direction. Uh, it's tough but always fair. I'm seeing a lot of reviews that say uh, you are going to die in this Zelda a lot. And people are very much okay with that. So it is one of the tougher Zeldas and be prepared for a lot of trial and error when you're playing it. Uh, let's go to one that is not a perfect score. Let's take a look at let's take a look at this. Nintendo World Report, they gave it a 9.5 out of 10. So a little a little under perfect. It's hard to find a bad review of the Breath of the Wild. Um Again, they are all perfect or near perfect. Similar themes in this review. Uh, It's biggest world, most ambitious Zelda, um, and that it's not just the fact that it's the uh, best Zelda game, that it, it could be the best Nintendo game or the best game ever. Um... Which, again, that is bold, bold claims. Uh, first of all, bold, bold claims to to say that it's the best Zelda game. There are a lot of them out there, and there is a fierce following for the Ocarina of Time, folks. Uh, very beloved game. Um, Wind Waker. I'm a big Wind Waker fan myself. This is Nintendo Life. Ten out of ten. Um, again, you're going to see similar themes throughout all of these. It's perfect, near perfect. 
Uh, let me jump right into, uh, let's find the Metacritic. Let's just pull that up and let's, let's zoom through a few more here if we can. Uh, it has currently got one of the highest 98 on Metacritic and definitely one of the highest that they've had for games. Dual Shockers, we were just on that site earlier. Love, love the name. 100. And it is 59 positive reviews, no mixed, and no negatives yet. Like I said, it is, it is hard to find um, criticisms with this game, which is mind-blowing. Um, I thought there'd be some people piling on uh, definitely to get some reads or something, but it's you can't even find those. You can't even find the trolls here. Um, Dual Shockers 100, US Gamer 100, um, IGN 100. So they're gonna they poo poo on the on the hardware of the Switch, but they give the game a hundred. So I don't know. You you've got an exclusive to a console, and it is the highest rated game could be ever when it's all said and done. That's got to say something about the hardware, too, I'd say, but that's that. 100, Digital Fix. Played numerous RPGs over many years. It's tough to think that it's as spellbinding as so Moorish as this. Okay. Breaking all the conventions of the series. Uh, one of the best Zeldas to date. Boy, that's about as negative as we can find. It's one of the best Zeldas to date. Uh, maybe not the best game to show the Switch's potential, but one of the best experiences so far. So, the hype, I didn't think it could get higher, but it has for Zelda. Um, when, the, when the negative comments about it is, it's one of the best Zelda games to date. That's about as negative as it's gotten. So, outstanding reviews. We are going to be playing Zeth uh, Breath of the Wild tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming it. No daily news nuggets tomorrow. We're going to be uh, streaming this weekend tomorrow uh, with Breath of the Wild. The uh, It's going to be fun. So looking forward to it, and the hype has continued. That's it for this recap of today's live show. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we welcome your feedback. Check out our channel today. We've got the latest Kid Brokers episode that's going to be going up. Uh, the Kid Brokers, check it out to see what stock investing idea they give me today. It's a great episode. And be sure to subscribe so you're first to get the latest headlines on everything investing, gaming, and entertainment that could impact their portfolio. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. No daily news nuggets, but we're going to be streaming Breath of the Wild quite a bit.